Hey crafty people, welcome back to my channel. And in case you're new here, I'm Sarah, also known as Craft Nerd, cause I'm a nerd who loves to craft. I do paper crafting, card making, junk journaling, and mixed media art. Let's get crafting. Welcome back. It's time for another Mass Make Monday. In case you're new to my channel, what I do is I set a timer for 45 minutes and see how many of a particular item I can make in that time. So you can see a whole bunch of stuff on my craft desk. And this is all stuff that was on my desk that I took off my desk when I was doing the redo of the floor in here. And I don't want it to just come back to cluttering up my desk. So it's random bits and bobs and leftover pieces from a variety of projects, little strips of paper cut off um, that I saved because I'm like, oh, I can use this for something. And then they just pile up and become an unmanageable mess. And so today we are going to make clusters using the various stuff that's been on my desk. And the one thing that wasn't is I grabbed some um, antique book page because I'm gonna make the clusters on there because I started doing it with some of the leftover scraps before. And so I've got a few sheets of these going already. Um, and so we may add to these as we go along. Um, but this is what we're going to use for the base for our clusters. And this is all the stuff we're going to use in making these clusters. So I'm going to go ahead and start my 45 minute timer. And grab my art glitter glue. And start making stuff using this stuff. Now, what I think I may start with as I did on those is I have got a whole bunch of leftover strips from uh, digitals from other projects I created. So I've got all these little strips of paper that I'm like, I can do something with. And as you saw, what I ended up doing with a lot of them is creating like the start of like geometric clusters. So we're just going to make a few more of those on these sheets of book page using scrap bits from digitals and let's kind of sort them by color and I think I've got a few um, coffee dyed pieces that will work with these let's pull some of those out I think I've got some pink So yeah, I have a horrible habit of saving all these little it's itty bitty pieces and then they just collect and it becomes unmanageable. Let's see, do we wanna add that there? And so, yeah. I'm trying to be better about not leaving a ton of leftover bits from projects just lying on my craft desk because they tend to get unwieldy after a while. All right, let's go ahead and glue that on here. Um, now, if I can figure out what, I'm pretty sure Mass Make Monday video these uh, digitals come from, I'll leave you a list down below of where they're from, but any of them I'm not sure I'm gonna remember. I think this might be uh, My Porch Prints. And this might be Leanna Scraps. Um, put that on. Let's see, maybe we'll go ahead and finish this one off and see if we've got a focal image in here that might work. I kind of like that. Let's put that one on. Let's do one with this piece down here. Yeah, it's haberdasheries on there, so I'm pretty sure that's in my porch prints. Um, digital, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to leave a list like I normally do with all of these because it's a whole bunch of random pieces. 
<laughs> Not seeing anything else in here that I want to go. Actually, maybe this is it. I think I'm going to cut that straight. So how's everybody doing this fine Monday? This is the Monday after 4th of July. Um, and pretty sure I mentioned last year that I am not really a fan of 4th of July anymore because I have a dog who does not like fireworks. So 4th of July is no fun in my household. Um, and this year I decided I'm like, let's try getting him a thunder shirt and see if that will help. I've got a lot of Christmassy bits and bobs left over. Hmm. That's too big, and I don't think I have a smaller one that's the right color. Put that aside. Let's see what's in here. Oop. Nope, that does not work. Let's see what else is in this one. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fiddling about trying to figure out what I've got so that I can get these things cleared off of my desk. I think that needs a little something else behind it. And what I might do is, oops, got some pink book page. So yeah, I picked up a thunder shirt for him and I initially put it on him and just kind of like draped it over him to like get him used to having something on him before I tightened it around him. And then <laughs> and, um took a little while, like I, I left it on him for a little bit and then I managed to, you know, close the straps on him. And I did this like the day before 4th of July because I figured... My neighbors had started setting off at least a little bit in the way of fireworks the night before, but it wasn't too bad. So I tried, I closed it on him and he started twitching. Like he would not lay still. He kept getting up. He kept shaking. I finally took it off him and he laid down and was quiet. I was like, okay, so the thunder shirt was an epic fail because it's supposed to help puppers, um, I'm not loving that after all now. All right, we're gonna set that aside and move on from trying to find a piece for that one and maybe do another one where we plan on this being a main piece. Maybe what we do is use a piece of this tea dyed graph paper. I feel like I should ink this behind so let's do that <clears throat> so yeah it was it was not successful <laughs> putting the thunder shirt on him so we we didn't bother with that and <clears throat> my dog is on and I'm grabbing just some sponge sugar um, medication for he has some issues with anxiety so he's normally on meds for that um, and so what he gets normally is one pill twice a day but the dosing on it is one to two pills twice a day so I started on the third in the evening with 
think we're gonna trim this shorter, um, giving him two pills. And then did that on the 4th of July as well. And he seemed to do okay. Like he would not go outside um, on the 4th of July at all. He was like, nope, not doing it. <clears throat> once, once the fireworks started. And of course my neighbors start setting them off in the middle of the afternoon. And it drives me crazy because it's not like you can see them. But yeah, so he was stressed out. And so he ended up having an accident on my floor. But um, as I told him, I'm like, I can't get mad at you because you are stressed and scared. And yeah, I think that works. Um, I'm not gonna, you're not in trouble for the fact that you can't go outside because the second, I swear, the, the um, noise would taper off and he'd think it was safe to go out. And the second I'd open the door to let him out, someone sent something else off and he'd like freak out and run in the house. And I'm like, <sighs> so poor little boy does not enjoy the 4th of July. I'm very thankful that, cause I'm filming this on Saturday, that on Friday, I guess most people were back at work and they weren't setting off fireworks all day and they didn't really set too many off Friday night. So he was able to go outside. All right, I'm gonna set this set aside um, and start on another sheet. Um, yes, let's go this side um, and let's see what else we've got in here. I kinda like that piece. And I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna trim off this edge here. And I have a feeling I'm gonna have to pause here in a second and check on said dog because he's currently out in my yard and he is, I think, mole hunting because he is digging for all he is worth. Um, and usually that means he's like trying to dig something up, but he's doing it near where like the gate out of the yard is. So I need to double check and make sure he's not actually tunneling out of the yard because I am so not up for hunting him down and chasing him today. <laughs> That is not what I want on my agenda for this afternoon. So in a minute here, I'll go check and make sure he's not doing something like that and pause the video because, yeah. All right, so this I know is, uh, what is it? Uh, Digital Attic Studio because it's their, whatchamacallit's. Okay, so my alarm went off stopping the video, so I got up, and this is actually the Junk Journal Studio, not Digital Attic Studio. Had a bit of a brain freeze there, and my one dog decided to come inside um, because I think he's tired and it's it's hot out, so may need to bring the other one in, even if he's not tunneling out, just because it is too dang hot for him acting like a loony out there. I wish I had done something a little different so that the pattern on that would have been showing at the bottom instead of being covered up but I do kind of like that so we're gonna do this put it on this has been sitting on my desk probably since I first started my YouTube channel over a year ago <laughs> because it was from a freebie from Victoria Designs remember that and it's printed on just regular copy paper which I don't tend to do my printing on anymore grab a paper towel because I dropped it and got glue everywhere there's that guy Let's see, let's go ahead and see if we can do something using the last of these pieces. You know what, let's stick one of the pen nibs on to cover up the mess from the glue. And then I can stick one on the 
maybe that and that or do them this way yep I like that as a way to cover up the glue smooge that made a mess on that label so as I was saying we, we trying to think I, where I was in talking about Bert and his n dislike of the four. So I did up his dose starting um, on Wednesday night. So Thursday he got two pills twice a day and he was much better than he normally is because in years past he's like climbed on my head when, when it's bedtime because they're setting off fireworks so I just need to remember to up his dose um, sooner rather than later because it definitely helped with um, his stress level this year because he was not climbing on my head although he did try what he likes to do when he's freaking out over the fireworks and such he likes to try he tries to climb onto my desk that I have next to the couch um, which I of course will not let him do and then so what he's been doing lately is he sticks his head under the couch and so he was doing that you know I've got some Pinky book page over here too. That. Oops, a snitch lower. Yep, I think that works. Oh. So yeah, he had his head under. So I wouldn't let him on the desk. So he stuck his head under the desk. And right now I've got which I didn't have in the past. I've got this like little wheeled cart thing under my desk because, so I work from home and I usually sit on my love seat while I'm working and I eventually decided I needed a desk next to my love seat. So I use a lap desk for my laptop while I'm working, but you know, so that I can have papers and, and stuff like that, I, got a desk and I set my laptop on it when I'm not working and I keep my um, personal laptop on it and but it doesn't have any kind of like drawers or shelves or anything um, right underneath it where I can put things so I got a little wheeled cart thing to go underneath it that I have been using and so Bert decided that he should put his head on it. I think we're going to just trim the rest of this off because I think I cut this out of like a bigger piece. Um, so we're just going to go with just the little book. Put that there and then build some stuff around it. definitely needs more and I'm not sure sadly given all the stuff out on my desk I don't know if I have something that's gonna work for it so I may have to pull something out it's all beads and ribbon and stuff Ooh. hmm I wonder if one of these guys might work So yeah, he stuck his head underneath I saw a butterfly. I saw a butterfly. Q 
heat is not working for me. Let's pull that off. But I'm thinking maybe some inky book page. You know what? Let's rip out the number. Yep, I like that. So yeah, this is all the stuff just sitting on my desk that I can't bear to throw away. And it's, but I, I can't handle having this stuff all over the place anymore either. It's driving me crazy. So. I'm gonna try and use up as much of this stuff as possible. Find homes for things that I can't find a use for. Because some of the stuff might just need to get put away somewhere. Um, but it needs to get off this. So, as I was saying, yeah, I'm very scattered this morning. This is what happens. I spent so much time redoing my craft space that I wasn't crafting and filming. My brain just is like, oh, it takes a while to get back into the groove of carrying on a conversation while crafting. Um, so Bert had his head buried under my desk and was using the, let's do one more in shades of blue. Let's do that guy, oh, you go away. Um, I think this might be the last piece of it. Nope, there's one more. Um, let's see, do I have any book page that might work? And he was using that um, shelf as like a headrest for himself. And at one point he got himself so far under that he basically didn't have his weight properly distributed between the love seat and the book stand and like started falling off underneath the cat the desk it was it was not pretty um yeah let's go with that and I think I see another butterfly laying around that is a vellum butterfly that may just work for this And I think I am going to pause this again here in a sec and go double check on Mr. Burt and make sure he's okay. Let's just get this one done. I do have a vellum butterfly and he needs to be sitting on something. Let's see if we can find something for him to sit on amongst all of this stuff. Um, <laughs> in here. You know what I've got in one of these? What I saw. And now I can't find it. Of course, I know I saw it. And now I don't know where it went. That's usually how it works. All right, so I know those are that. Maybe in here. Ah, yes, it's in here. I need something across there, which means I may dip into 
my labels and pull a label out to go there. But let's glue that down and I'm gonna grab my Barely Art glue for the butterfly because it works a little bit better with vellums and acetate. glue this guy down um so yeah poor little poor little thing was not having it but did much better with the double dosing on his meds um than he otherwise would and yeah that definitely needs a label let's grab that real quick <clears throat> Also from the Junk Journal Studios pastel label collection. All right, that page is all done. Um, let's grab this. mixing things up a little bit this is just some I don't know leftover string um, probably should make it a little less thick then we're just gonna glue that down scrap piece of fabric and this is a piece of fabric I put a I don't know if that's a I think that's a rub-on on to and so we're gonna make a little fabric -y cluster on the book page. Um, and then I'm gonna go check on a dog once we glue this down real quick. For this one, I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac just because it will stick better. And I'm not gonna glue all of the, whatchamacallit down, um, thread so it can be free flowing. I'm just going to put some glue in the middle. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm still getting back into the swing of things after redoing my craft space. And I still have a little bit more to go. Um, so as I said, this is the Saturday of 4th of July weekend, and I actually have a hair appointment later on today. Um, and I spent a good chunk of this weekend putting stuff away and reorganizing and stuff. And I've got some more shelves coming in a little later on today from Amazon. All right, let me uh, pause that and check on a dog. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> so I made Bert come in. He was still digging away like a loony. Um, and then I've got another one. It's a little bit big to go on there. Let's hold off on doing that. So and I've got some random little pieces. Like, yeah, all of these like ran like look at this. This is left over from the window scene that I did back in fall. Um, and then just a random circle. So let's use these guys. Uh, let's put that one there. And then I've got some book page. I think I'm gonna ink the edges on this because that is way too white. Let's grab some vintage photo. So yeah, I made him come inside. So as I was saying, I have a few more storage items from Amazon arriving today. And then, you know what, let's do this section of it. So I inked the wrong section, of course. Um, 
And I think after my hair appointment, I may stop off at Michael's because there is something I want to pick up there. Um, that's, this piece is going in the garbage. Uh-oh. Did you just knock that over? That crashing sound was the gate I took down between my laundry room and my kitchen so that when I had my new stuff delivered, I could, um, let's cut that off about there, um, shut the door so that my dogs would not be bothering the guys who were delivering stuff. And so he was laying down, I guess, or just bumped up against it and knocked it down. And you might be hearing panting in the background because, yep, yeah. Looney was outside digging and would not have come in but for the fact that I offered him something tasty. Because that's generally how things go. I'll be out there and it's like, dude, it is too warm. Come inside. And he's like, but, but I was digging. I just come in the house. All right, that one, we're going to do the other way around. And sadly, I don't think I have any focal things to put on these guys because they're fall. So unless I pull out some fall stuff, which I can do, and I may just do. Um, actually, I do have some numbers, I think stamped somewhere around here that I think might be fall colors that we could add. Are these fall or Christmas or both? They're both because that's orange. I like that. So yeah, these are one of those things I stamped them and they just haven't gotten put away. They are too white though and need to be inked. So let's put them down here. And I think I'm gonna go tea dye. Cause I think antique linen's not gonna be enough with these guys. And I think I may need to pause again and go see what's going on. I think he may have knocked it over so that the other dog can't get out of the room because yeah he won't try to get around things all right I'll be right back I gotta go deal with dog stuff ah uh, yeah he completely blocked the doorway by knocking that thing over so oh I just went and moved it and he now wants to go back in the yard I'm like no we're not doing that all right I'm gonna ink the edges on this one too I really need to do some that are Christmassy because I've got a lot of random Christmas bits and bobs left over from um, like Christmas all year cards and things like that. So I really should do something that uses them. So I think we're going to set these guys aside. possibly come back to them possibly not but let's pull this out I know I've got some Christmas paper bits over here somewhere that's Christmas that is just a piece of thing, something that I can do. go in the garbage I'm mumbling to myself I know sorry about that do I have any more Christmas pieces? Ah, there's a good Christmas piece. Christmas. 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 I know that's My Porch Prince, um, I think. Is it My Por Porch Prince or is it Rachel Bella? Now I'm, now I'm rethinking it might be Rachel Bella. All right, let's see. I think, I think I've pulled out all of 
the leftover Christmassy bits. Double check, I've got a pile of papers over here. Sorry, I'm <laughs> concentrating, trying to find any more Christmassy bits. All right, those are all the Christmassy bits, I believe. Let's see if we can find some good stuff to go with our Christmassy bits. that on there. Let's see what do we got? I lost the scissors. Ah, here are the scissors. I'm gonna just randomly cut that off to go here with that. These two pieces are going to go like so, and I'll cut another piece for over here. Now let's see what we've got in amongst our bits and bobs. There's a present, and a green tag to it. Okay, let's assemble that so that we can then see if we like it to go on one of these clusters. Gonna need something else to go there to fill that out, but I think that's working for me. Let's see, where do I got? some of this ribbon. That piece, that's shorter. That might be longer, let's see. It's a little bit longer. That, that. I think I'm going to cut the top straight on this one. I think that will work better. But leave the bottom pointy. I really feel like I want to put some ink back there. Let's grab a brush and some lumberjack plaid, which is out on my desk already. Let's 
glue this down. Now, Fabri-Tac, or our glitter glue will work on ribbon. It just doesn't uh, adhere as quickly as with Fabri-Tac, which is why I tend to use Fabri-Tac um, when gluing ribbons. Oh, I think the heat might be getting to my glue. It's spooking out over the top, which it tends to do when it gets hot out. Present on. All right, so that's one less random die cut piece sitting on my desk. And I actually have another present. So I think I may go ahead and assemble that. And then this way we can see if we can find someone that it can go on. So yeah, I'm just trying to cut down on all of the random leftover bits that are sitting on my craft space, driving me a little crazy. Um, and you know what, I think I'm gonna do some green inking down there. So, find a green brush and grab my rustic wilderness, which I think might be out, yes. Present go. Had the present. Oh, there it is. And I think maybe what we will do so it's not sitting on the white is go like this and put that there. The present. Like so. Yep, I like that. Let's glue that down. We've got about two and a half minutes left. That. This piece. I eliminated a few containers, like two, which, given my track record on Mass Make Mondays and how little I tend to get done, I'm, I'm not too mad at that. Um, Cause that's better than nothing. What else do I've got in here? See, these are just fussy cut bits that need a home. And these are clothing bits for, I don't know who. I think they might be for Walter. And I don't actually have any Walters. All right, that one's empty. That one's got one little piece of stuff left and a bead. Let's move the bead out of there. That one's empty. Let's see what else we've got. That one's empty. Let's 
Hmm, just looking about, seeing what I have out here that we might want to use for another one. Got these are left over from one of the Christmas cards I've done. So yeah, I end up having all these leftover bits and then they just sit and I am running quickly out of time and I just dumped this all over the place. That was probably not a great idea. Let's, let's see if we can dump all of those back in. I think I'm gonna use this one. Got those leaves. No, I was gonna use the red. Up, oh, and that's time. I think we're gonna do one more just because I had the idea and I've got bits and pieces out for it. So let's just get one more on here. Like that. I'm trying to decide. Let's see, do I have just a straight up? I think instead of doing that, let's do kind of a reverse of what you normally do and do some berries in green on this. Let's figure out which berries are which. So let's glue these bits down first and then find us some berries to go on there. That can go on there like that. All right, let's glue that down. And oh, my desk is now a mess. So we got this set done. We did these guys, those, and these. So, that's not too bad, <laughs> um, given how much fussing about I was doing trying to figure out what was going to go where, we didn't do too bad here. So, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do all the things that lets YouTube know you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for joining me, and happy crafting!